otherwise you can, you can see, see the forever. Magnet. Yeah, look at that's all you could see for miles, except the smoke is all blocking it off here. See, you can sort of see there's a there's a gray haze in the air everywhere you look here. So we're coming down Mount Washington now. We're on. See these signs? See, see, the, see how high the signs are? That's because of the snow. They, they can't put the they, they can't put the signs into the ground like a nor, like in a normal street. Here we'll see we'll see some more up here maybe. And you'll see the signs are way you know they're 30 feet in the air because the snow gets so deep that they'd be completely buried. See look at look at how high the sign is off the ground. There's not it's not just a normal pole. So look at that. And that just that's 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 because the snow banks are so high. So you have to put these signs up extra high. And even then they have snow blowers. Look at this, look at the, the, the vision here is all blurred because of the snow or the uh, smoke. Usually this is crystal clear and you can see out for miles and miles here on this uh, all the way to the mainland. All the way to, to where? To mainland. To, oh, to the mainland, yeah, we're to, right to over to the to the yeah. You can right see over the to the ocean continent. And, uh, continent. The ocean, and you can see into the continent of the United of Canada, yeah. But because of the smoke, it's just a blur, it's just a cloud. Look at this. I think it, they don't measure their snow, their snow in inches here. They measure it in feet. But then qu quickly. Once you once you you know once you drop down this, to this elevation, it's the snow is is not as deep. Like at the top, they I don't know. I'm just, they, let's say at the top they get a hundred feet of snow. Well, here it quickly drops to fifty feet, and then you know in another couple miles as you go go down because we're on a pretty steep slope. I know it, it's an eight percent grade, so that means for every hundred feet that you travel this way, it drops eight feet. And that's really steep. That's an eight, it's called an eight percent grade, and uh, it goes like that for miles and miles and miles. Like it just, it takes about twenty-five minutes to, to drive up here, and it's 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 uphill all the way. I mean, you, this this doesn't give you the. So this is this can be really treacherous on the, on going up but on the way down too it's like you can lose you know you could slide off here so quickly and go over these cliffs there's these kind of cliffs 40 kilometers an hour because it's twist so twisty it's like a to do all these switchbacks Like slaloming on us on us on your skis, they're trying to keep your speed down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay, we're okay. Look at this big rock cuts here. So look at that back and forth. There's called the chicane back and forth. grade it says here the sign see what eight percent truck is low gear this guy's construction they must be getting ready for winter putting up special chain up signs and 
checking the roadside and everything to make sure yeah they're great they're grading the side of the road exactly what they're doing here they're, they're getting the road ready for, for winter big shed we're coming up to a big shed here and it's filled with salt salt and sand they, they they've used so much salt on sand on this this mountain road that they actually have to have their own supply of sand and salt look at that it's filled ready for the winter look it's full to the jam just ready for winter to come and look at these signs look at how high these signs are off the road because the snow is so deep and the trucks the, the by October 1st the truck trucks have to carry chains but and they have special flashing lights in, in a snowstorm or different the, the weather's totally different here and they have special lights and they, have, and they say chain trucks must chain up if you you they, they they have to pull over over here there's a place to pull over and that's where the trucks they, they put chains on their tires see chain chain off area so we're coming to a chain up and a chain off the, train, the trucks would pull over here in the winter and take the chains off their tires because the, the, the road is so steep and it's got so much snow on it that the only way the trucks can even move is with and, and cars as well they have to have snow tires you can't go up there I think to, it's a little bit more lenient on cars because you know people can use their head and not turn around but you, you have to you have to have snow tires to go up there I think it's October 1st it might be November 1st or November 15th. I'm not, I'm not sure the date, but you got to, at some point in time, you have to have snow tires. And believe me, you, you want them because, man, you, you, those hills are so steep coming down. You just skid and slide and slide and slide. You need uh, every, every, every bit of help you can get. Pretty much at the bottom of the mountain, I think. I think eight, eight it took us eight eight minutes to get down this far. I, oh, I think there's a few more spots that are pretty steep. I think maybe not. Maybe not. So it doesn't very close to where I live. There's all this area just. Beautiful afternoon drive. What a, what a great way to spend a Friday afternoon is going for a nice nice drive. If you, if you can't go for a big long walk, go for a nice drive and go for a picnic or something and just enjoy yourself. Man, just what more could you ask? Truck stop here. Check oh, okay, we're not we're not done the mountains. We're coming up to the really steep section. I forgot about this. They have a special place for the trucks have to pull over to the side of the road and check their brakes. Oh, look at this. You can see we're coming up to this big, big, sleep, uh, steep pass here. And normally you'd be able to see all this, but it's all, it's all covered with smoke. Here's 
the big steep one. Look at this. What is this? 12% grade. Wow, that's really, that's amazing steep. So every, every 100 feet you travel out, it drops 12 feet. The speed limit says 60 and Frank's doing 120, but that's okay. We're okay. Frank's a good driver. We're okay. We're doing three times the speed limit, but oh well. My, my will is up to date. I can feel my ears popping because we're dropping in elevation so quickly. In the, it's like being in a plane that takes off and goes up into the sky. It's the same feeling. This is just like a roller coaster, man. It's like, so it's like you can hardly, I'm hanging on here. You can't believe how. The brakes are red hot, the tires are screeching. Wow, we're low. When they say slow here, the first thing I learned when I came out here and they said slow down, they really meant it. Wow, look at how long this, man, we're just going down, 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 down. I can't believe how, how much, how steep this hill is. You cannot believe it. And it just goes like this for miles and miles and miles. So if you ever ran, if, you're, if you were in a truck and your brakes gave out, man, you, you'd go off into the bush. So here we're at the bottom of the hill. We're at the bottom of Mount Washington now. We're right coming into this little forested area. We've done the whole mountain, 12, 12 minutes. Most people take half an hour to get down, but with Frank, it only takes 12 minutes. So I don't know. I don't know. It's a little scary. It's a little scary, but you have to pay me. If yeah, he, roller he's, coaster it's a roller ride. coaster ride. He says it's a ride, man. It's Hang ride. on. So here, th I think these guys are fishing. These guys are probably stopped fishing. There's like a big creek here or something. Because it's the fall, and the the salmon are will be running. I must look on and see when the salmon are running. We're going to be, we're, we're going to be at, uh, I'm going to turn the thing off here in just about 30 seconds. We're going to be at the Inland Highway. So that was, that was the ride down from Mount Washington to uh, the Inland, Inland Highway, Vancouver Island, just outside of Courtney in British Columbia. Here we are. We're just about there. And that's the ride. 13 minutes down. Frank's got this Hello, alarm going alarm. here. Frank turns his alarm on so when he walks down the when he walks down the trail so that it scares the polar bears. Okay, well here we are, Campbell River, you can see the sign here. Nanaimo, and here we are right at the inland highway. See the cars going by, and that's it for this little video. See you later.